Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I've got a really exciting reveal for you and it's really exciting for me as well because I have added another MS bag to my collection. If you followed me on Instagram, you have seen that I posted uh, a picture which I will put here whereby I have this big orange box in a black bag. <laughs> I was actually in the office so I didn't want to you know, have a big orange bag so I put it in a black bag. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to reveal the bag because I'm not going to do an unboxing because I've already unboxed the bag. In fact, the box is somewhere else. I've only got the bag with me right now. Straight to the reveal. I'm not going to tease you anymore. This is my brand new or new to me Toolbox 26 in uh, Swift Leather with Palladium Hardware. And the colour is Blue Talasa. And it's actually showing up pretty true to colour on camera. It is this um, sea blue green color in different angles it looks um, more green in different angles it looks more blue and that's one of the reasons why I picked it because I really like this kind of shade so anyway this is a pre-loved bag and I got it from uh, Lex Luxicon which I'll put the name right here and you can check them out they are I think they're like the biggest uh, reseller in Singapore and uh, I, I went to their store and I actually got this oh in fact look at that it looks a little bit darker now and looks more green, right? But anyway, I got this bag uh, pre-loved during um, just before Christmas. So if you watch my vlog, I think day two of my Kyoto trip, I did mention, kind of like hinted that I already bought my Christmas present. And this is actually kind of like my Christmas present. And yeah, it, it wasn't really a planned purchase, but I just want to say there are two YouTubers that made me buy this. Uh, one is Bagelholics as well as uh, Winnie, Winnie Y on YouTube. Both of them have this bag. They have uh, this version of a toolbox. Well, Bagelholics, she actually has the Toolbox 20, which is a cuter, smaller size. Whereas uh, Winnie actually has the bigger one, which is this size. And I actually contacted Winnie to say that, well, is that size, is that price right? And after you know talking to her and then talking to another Instagrammer, I kind of like fell for this bag. So it was between this color and another lighter color, which I'll put a picture here. But I decided against the lighter color because I wanted to use this for work and I find that this deeper color is more work appropriate. So anyway, let me just share with you uh, a little bit about the bag. This is the size 26. So when I measure it uh, across, it's 26 centimeters. If you have a Birkin 30, it's just slightly smaller than a Birkin 30. It has um, one lock up here and you open it like this. So let me open it. Like a toolbox, right? Like a toolbox. Like that. So I've got my, I'm going to take out my bag organizer and you can see what's on the inside. Oh, so you can see what's on the inside. It's just one big hole. I love the fact that when you open it, you can see everything. It's got uh, one big compartment here and then two more slip compartments. It's fully lined with this Swift Leather. It smells so amazing. So this Swift Leather, as you can see, without anything, it would um, collapse. But I actually really like it when it collapses like that. It looks, look at that, it's so so squishy. It's kind of like Clemence leather, but it's like all like squished up. I it's so cute. It's so cute. Look at that. It's so cute. I love it. I love the fact that it's very slouchy and it just makes the bag look so much more casual. At the same time, it can look so formal. So I have already put my tweelies there to give it a bit of color. But I do find that this handle is a little bit too long. So as you can see, my tweelies don't finish up all the way. They're like too short. So probably the Hermes tweelies are not so suitable for this particular handle. It is a little bit longer on the drop. Anyway, it comes with a shoulder strap. So it's shorter shoulder strap, not adjustable. And in this color, it's, I guess they're trying to make it the same color. But as you can see, it's a little bit lighter and it's in this canvas material which gives it that casual feel. So I will do some modeling shots and you can see when I put it at the crook of my arm, I do like the fact that it looks uh, quite dainty, you know, and it's kind of chunky at the same time. I can also kind of put it on my shoulder, uh, not really comfortable and I feel like I'm squashing the back a little bit, so I wouldn't recommend that. But 
it is a possibility for me because as you can see my shoulders are not really that broad but I won't recommend it so the best way is to put it on, uh, on your elbow or or the other way is to sling it with the sh uh, shoulder strap and I like this particular way to wear the bag when I put it on my shoulder because the strap is uh, quite thick it's very comfortable and it doesn't feel heavy on my shoulder it feels you know it doesn't feel like yeah too much on my shoulder and I love this it, it makes the bag more casual so with this bag, as you can see, it's like without anything inside. I'm actually using the same bag organizer which I used for my uh, Lindy and I also used this for my Birkin and now I'm going to use it for my uh, toolbox. This uh, 20, I think this is a size 26 for the Lindy, goes perfectly into my Birkin and it also goes perfectly into my toolbox. So let me show you. So I, I love this, you know when you open it, it's like, like a toolbox, right? And it fits perfectly inside. There, see? So it gives the bag um, more structure, uh, keeps it in shape. Just want to say that this is my first Swift leather bag. Uh, it is more. less carefree. I, I think that's the right word. Less carefree. I am quite careful uh, when, you know, when putting it against my body. There are. This kind of like lines already and I think that's because it's you know from the previous owner she didn't she, the way she probably used it I can kind of yeah I can kind of buff it out but it, it doesn't really bother me because I'm I plan to use this bag I'm not gonna mistreat it obviously because it's pretty expensive but let's talk about how I got this bag it's actually a light new uh, condition uh, P stamp so I think that is 2012 and it's in really good condition. I got it for uh, about 7,000 Singapore dollars. Um, what else can I say? It came with a copy of the original receipt, uh, the box, the clochette. It also has the key and lock, which I haven't put it here. It's actually in the box, which I doubt I would use it because I don't want to add more things to the bag. The bag itself with my stuff inside can get quite uh, heavy. Well, I'm using it for work, so I've got lots of things inside. Um, as for the leather, it's just like what I imagined. So supple, so soft, and it's so nice to touch. It smells amazing. I really like this leather. It is a little bit more of a hassle to take care of. I have to be careful, like for example, when I'm wearing my jeans, you know, the rivets, I don't want to be like scraping on them. So, and then, you know, things like that. Just be careful of bumps and all. But otherwise, it hasn't been that difficult to take care of. It has been raining uh, a lot lately here, so I have been a freak. I have been carrying my... Uh, this little recycling bag and because I'm using this uh, as a work bag and I do travel so every time I go to the security <laughs> I actually wrap up my bag and put it through the security uh, what do you call it the conveyor thing yeah it's a little bit more of a hassle compared to let's say like my jumbo caviar bag which I could just literally put it on top of the uh, x-ray machine I, could, I don't have to worry about it but like this one I'm really freaking I, I have to be I have to be really careful because I think um, minor scratches like example if I, I say like a minor scratch like that can be easily buffed out but if I get a really deep one that's it <laughs> that's it so right now I've got like let's see can you take a look I've got the bag already came with one very light one but it's not something that I'm worried about I guess over time the more I use it it will kind of mesh into the leather. It's not a deep scratch. It's kind of like probably, I think when she used it, she kind of rubbed it on her jeans. So there's one line here. But I can tell you that once I use this bag more, because it is literally like new condition, there is no scratches, nothing uh, on the corners, absolutely. She probably used it once, got this like a, like a, like a mark, and she's like, oh, this is not the bag for me, and then sold it. I think so, because otherwise, other than that, on the inside, nothing. The stickers are still on the bag. Um, the hardware uh, along, let's say, like the rip, the D ring here on the hardware, there's no scratches. So I, I'm pretty sure she just used it once, got a little scratched. Uh, not scratched, but kind of like you know, um, like a like a mark, which I'm trying to show you. Let's see, it's even. You can probably see it when you look at it on like this to me, yeah, you can probably see it. But it doesn't bother me because 
I want this bag to get soft. I want it to get like really like slouchy. I, I want that because I don't I want it to be like that, you know, like slouchy, soft, like really so nice. I, I want that to happen to this leather. So this is a bag that I I'm super excited about. I, I guess for me right now, I want to collect the other Amaz bags. I want to look uh, into their other lines. So the toolbox intrigued me the first time I saw it on Bagger, uh, Bagaholics um, Instagram. It really intrigued me. I was like, oh, that's really cute. So after I saw it, I started to research a little bit more about it and I realized there isn't much research on toolbox. Then I started to look at the reseller market and I found that not many resellers have it. You got tons and tons of Birkins, tons of Kellys and Lindys, some Bolides and all. Uh, I guess I had Bolide, Bolide. And occasionally a toolbox pops out, but it's always sold out really fast. So because it's so rare and because it's so unknown, I was even more intrigued. Because I like it so much, I really, really am considering getting the 20 as well. The 20 would be much smaller. So this is 26, so 20 is like maybe this size for a cute going out bag, like a cute bag that uh, I don't know, just, just really want, I, I thought of getting a 20, we'll see, we'll see, I mean, two of the same bags might be a bit much. But yes, this is my new bag, it's not a Birkin, it wasn't a Kelly, and that's what I said in my uh, Instagram, I know some of you said, Constance, ooh, really expensive, and to be frank, the H, um, I need to get a little bit used to seeing the big H in front, like H, like it's like a giant LV, like L. So it's nice, but I don't know. I haven't, uh, I haven't thought about it. So that's one bag. But the next bag that I really am thinking about getting, especially now that I got this uh, toolbox, the other bag that I might consider buying uh, from MS is actually the Bolit. I haven't decided whether I want to get the Bolit 31, which is about the same size, quite a big bag. Or maybe I would get it in a uh, size 20, I think it's a 27. That's the size smaller. So it's about this size. So 31 is a little bit bigger, probably like this much bigger. Then 27 would be about this size. Or maybe the tinier bolid, uh, which I think is the 20. So I haven't decided. But it does uh, remind me of an Elma, 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 right? An Elma bag. Because it's got that kind of seashell shape with the two handles. Yes, so anyway, uh, I will leave this video at that. This is my reveal for my toolbox bag. If any of you have any questions about this bag, let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, as usual, I'm not going to do a review about this bag until much later on. Maybe a first impressions review uh, two, three months down the line. But if you're interested about getting this bag, uh, do check out the reseller market. Pretty sure you can get a toolbox easily in the Hermes stores uh, as compared to obviously getting a Birkin and Kelly but I don't know I don't feel like paying full price uh, for this bag I feel like this bag is gonna get quite a lot of use and I want I prefer to get it as a pre-love bag plus getting it as a pre-love bag uh, the prices you know was a little bit more acceptable in my range I'm not gonna pay Birkin prices especially store prices for this similarly for the Bolide I checked out like um, the store price. It was so expensive. So I think if I'm gonna get the bullet, definitely pre-love route is the way to go for me. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. You guys take care and I'll see you in my next one.